like, I don't know, I'm still trying to process the whole thing. Like, I don't even know my name. I don't know what's happening. Oh my gosh, it feels amazing though. I, I finally, you know, got to this point. I've been working so long. I think the biggest thing is, you know, you did this three years in a row. So many other people would have quit. What was like the number one reason that kept you motivated to keep coming back to Idol and do this and other people quit? Um, well, I actually have some friends that that decided not to to come back and stuff like that. But I've always knew for some reason that it would happen if I if I kept going. And I even at some point said, you know. American Idol obviously doesn't want me, so why would I go back? But I found myself on the website looking at auditions again and, and just like being determined and stuff. And I just couldn't stay away because I knew that if I kept trying, then it would happen. I was I was so nervous backstage. I was like, oh my gosh, you cannot suck. This is Jennifer Hudson. Like, don't don't mess up. Like, practice, get it together. And I I'm just so glad I got a chance to even do that with her because I look up to her. So. Uh, you, I saw you mouthing her name. Mm -hmm. Like, what was going through your head right before and right after? I was saying her name because I just knew he was gonna say it. So I was like, oh yeah, Cree, Cree, and she was like, no, Candace, no, Candace. So we're super supportive of each other and I know that no matter what like I'm gonna buy Cree's album like and I think the whole world will so I'm I, we support each other what's the first thing you're gonna do tomorrow after the interview um I'm gonna try to go to sleep um I don't even think I'm gonna get a chance to sleep tonight but um I'm gonna try to sleep as much as I can probably eat some chicken or something <laughs> I like her. Um, actually, the only song that I've recorded is the one that um, I performed when I won the show. What am I even saying? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. That's the only one that I have right now, but I know that I'm going to get to work really fast on it. Hi. Thank you. Um, so how does it feel to sing during a good cry versus a bad cry? What were you even? Do you even remember singing? No, I don't. I don't remember him saying my name. I do remember confetti getting in my mouth <laughs> while I was singing and, and stuff. <laughs> I wanted to laugh, but I was crying, and it was so. It was just so much happening at that one moment. But it felt. It felt great. I felt good. Hi. Hi. I think it's pretty obvious that Love Song is probably my favorite one. And um, only because I was so connected, you know, with the lyrics and I knew what it felt like. And then for Keith Urban to start like getting on his knees and bowing and um, Randy being here for 12 years and saying it was one of the best of, of his whole 12 year run on the show. So it felt great and I just was in tears and because I didn't expect, you know, the reception that I got to be so big. Yeah, and, and Mariah threw glitter at me. That had to be the best moment. It's probably a very silly question because having all the duets you had tonight. Mm -hmm. I read that, I mean, my goodness. Um, who, who would you love to do it with? Or you um, well, uh, Jasmine Sullivan is my favorite um, singer, and Whitney Houston, rest in peace, I would have loved to do a song with her, because she's amazing, and I, I looked up to her, but just in getting a chance, not even, well, even though she, you know, wasn't there, but Aretha Franklin, I, the whole time I was making, me and Cree were making stink faces, like, oh my gosh, she's so amazing, like, the whole time being on stage, so I, a lot of dreams came true for me tonight. Isn't it, isn't it crazy that I can even do that though? Because he follows me on Twitter, like what's happening? But um, I don't know, I, and, and, and he knows that I was in the top two because a lot of people have been tweeting him and he retweeted and said that he was proud of me. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll get back to you. <laughs> How was it for when Aretha uh, called you a winner? It, it almost felt like she was about to spoil the results. <laughs> I don't know. She said that, and I, I was like, oh my, I didn't even, I could understand that Aretha knew my name or knew who I was, because I really, you know, I love her so much, and I, oh my gosh, that just felt great. I don't, I don't know. The whole night was just, was just amazing. Ken, what did it mean to you to have Randy Jackson as a judge on the final season? 
I know I got his final critique ever last night because I went last and everything so and I, I spoke to him and said that I'm so glad that I got a chance to you know experience this with him and he said you know he's he loves the fact that he could be here you know and, and experience this with me because he knows how my journey has been and how long I've been wanting this so I, I love Randy. Um, Nikki, she was like, oh my gosh, you're a superstar. Can I hug you? Can I please hug you? <laughs> like, cause she didn't, you know, she was like, don't be a diva or whatever. But she, she's always told me, well, she was joking. She always says, well, oh my gosh, can I hug the next American, well, the American Idol. <laughs> Every time I say that, I can't even, what's happening? But anyway, um, yeah, she was just said, she always tells me to have fun and, and be myself. So I really love Nikki and I hope I can collab with her, to be honest. I love her. I didn't see Mariah. I don't. I didn't get a chance to speak with her. I hope I do though. Thank you. I know. Oh my gosh. I think I definitely learned um, how to be confident and how to be myself and be okay with who I am because in previous seasons I I was doing what I thought. America wanted or what the judges or whoever wanted but this year I just did you know whatever I wanted to do hence why I would do a rapper song on the show or why I would do the cure when nobody expected me to and but like in previous seasons I would I wouldn't have done any of that because I wasn't comfortable in who I was but I think that's the difference between now and the other seasons. She, we tell each other we love each other probably 90,000 times a day, but it, it really meant a lot for her to, to hug me and say, you know, I love you and I'm so happy for you. And I said the same for her and I'm so proud of her. And I don't know, I can't wait to see her again so we can, you know, have fun tonight or whatever. <laughs> Congratulations. Are you looking forward to the tour and what songs are you looking forward to performing? Um, I'm definitely looking forward to the tour because I don't have to worry about getting eliminated the, the following day <laughs> or, or going home or worrying about votes or anything. So I'm definitely going to miss the show, but I think that's the one thing I won't, I won't miss, being, being stressed out like every Thursday. But um, I don't know like what I'm going to perform on the tour yet, but I know it's going to be good, so I hope you all come.